Welcome you to Munich in a so beautiful day, beautiful weather, and a so wonderful season. You know, that's the last year we're here, we launched the Huawei Mate 9. But this year, we come back here again. We launched the Huawei new flagship Huawei Mate 10. If you see the last 10 years, is the rapid growth of smartphone. Today, the smartphone is maybe the most important the gadget for everyone. Today, people you have more and more your time, you, s you stay with your smartphone. <coughs> and then when you are doing uh, your reading the information, and uh, your, your, your email, your work, and you're watching the video, and even your payment, everything, pretty own. So people you are using less and less time, you're watching your TV, there are more and more times they're with the smartphone. And less time they're using the desktop, or laptop, PC. They're using more for the, P uh, the smartphone not only for life, but also for work, for the digital social network, for everything, for entertainment, even for sports. When people take, go outside for sports, they're taking a smartphone for recording all the tracks. And also, you know, like in uh, some Asian countries, like in China, now the mobile payment, people don't need to take credit card. They are using the, the smartphone. So the smartphone becoming more and more important, and also, you know, more and more users becoming really heavy user of smartphone. Many people using eight, six hour, even seven hour on smartphone, when the smartphone screen is light up. So it's unbelievable. So we really need the smartphone with this more and more heavy users. We hope that the screen can be larger, fast to view. And also we need a much longer battery life. And also we need a much better performance. I know people every day are taking camera, uh, take a photo. They need a better camera experience. So while we made series, we proud of this phone. It's designed for really heavy users. It have a large screen, compact design, ultra long battery life, and strong performance, and super fast speed. And all these things is really the design for heavy users. For us. Innovation inspired from inside. You know that last month in IFA, we launched the world's first smartphone chipset, SOC chipset, which have AI processor inside. We call it the NPU, the neural network processor inside. When we launched this, phone, uh, this chipset, we received very good uh, feedback. People are eager to waiting this most powerful chipset can be used on the flagship phone. You know, we today we want to using the most powerful, the Kirin 970 chipset to power the most advanced flagship smartphone. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. Today, we bring, we bring Huawei, Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. With our design, our performance, and our photography. That's first looks at our design. You know, that's the last three, four years, and we from Huawei Mate 7, and it's a six-inch uh, compact smartphone. We are first vendor in, in this industry to introduce introducing the single-touch fingerprint on Android smartphone. And it's a full metal body. After we launched that phone, you see very good consumer feedback. This phone, large screen, six-inch, compact design, long battery life, high performance. And uh, later on, uh, we, we launched the Mate 8 and the Mate 9. Every generation, the performance is getting better, the battery life is getting longer, and also the camera experience also getting better. So that's, we really designed this phone, yes, for our mid series, for performance, for compact design, for long battery life. And then today, our Mid 10 and Mid 10 Pro designed for ultimate performance. You will see this two Mid 10 and Mid 10 Pro. Both we are using the full wheel display. 
four wheel display, a large screen and a, a display to the, almost to the bottom of the, of the phone <coughs> screen. If you see this one, the Huawei <coughs> Mate 10 Pro, it's a six inch full HD plus OLED uh, display panel. And uh, this phone is a, uh, it's phone it's about very high contrast ratio, high color, uh, color saturation, and also HDR display. It's a 16 to nine ratio, it's a long, long display. You can see the screen ratio. So this phone can help you to have vivid photo video. Yeah. Uh, people maybe ask me that why we are not using a 2K, because for this size, the Full HD Plus, the resolution is high enough for your eyes. You cannot distinguish the 2K and the Full HD Plus on this size screen. But the, these phones, this resolution, the battery, longer battery. The 2K display, the problem for the 2K display is the battery consumption is much higher. <coughs> so, but this phone, you know, design is even six inch phone, but your hand held it, it's more, very comfortable. It's smaller, even a fairly smaller than the, than the, the 5.5 inch phones in your hand. So, the, so this design is really compact design. And uh, Huawei Mate 10, uh, we are using the 5.9 inch 2K display. Here you may say that uh, 2K have high power consumption, why you need a 2K? But we have RGBW for that. You without RGB, the traditional RGB, the display panel, the power consumption too high for 2K. But we we proud of this. We are using RGBW display, the 2K. Uh, it's the traditional 16 to 9 ratio. This phone. It's compatible for today's uh, all the apps. Today's apps designed for this ratio. And also the brightness is 730 nits, really high. 30% improvement on the brightness. And also this phone is designed for perfect optimize for reading and browsing. You can see that you can fully use the screen when you're using the screen. No matter you are reading the email, your, your, your web browsing, you can fully use that. And also we are using you know, one fingerprint to replace three watch key. So the three watch key not occupy the, the display space. So we can fully use the, the 5.9 inch, the big screen. And also, what's the RGBW? The RGB, the red, uh, green, blue, the three color. But we add one more color, white. Because when you're, using the, you're watching the internet, the web browsing, many apps, the background is white. The white background, you can save you a lot of power. With all the display, the white, huge power consumption. But with RGBW display, the white is really low, means low power. So in the normal, the, the white background, when you're in the fish, uh, Facebook, your internet, your email, the white background is really low power consumption. And also, you know that in the sunshine, in the outdoor, in so good weather, nowadays, the, the sun is very bright. So this RGBW can save a lot of power. So low power consumption on the bright outdoor. So it's also achieved a higher dynamic and also higher brightness. <clears throat> and this phone is a 5.9 inch phone. You can see that this phone, but this phone's size is really compact. Last generation, the Mate 9, is also a 5.9 inch same size screen. Mate 9 is also very compact. But this, this generation, Mate 10, even more compact. Let's make comparison together. Same size screen, even 1.1 millimeter short, uh, narrower. 6.4 millimeter shorter. It's uh, unbelievable. It's uh, really, really very difficult for the engineering team to do that. So, it's, uh, so you know, this phone is very comfortable to put in your pocket. Because, you know, sometimes you take spots, you don't need the phone it's too bulky. It's really comfortable. And also compare with the usability of the screen. Our Mate 10 have 9,500, over 9,500 square millimeters. And Mate 10 Pro have no over 9,300 um, uh, square millimeters. 
so much bigger space. Then you will have no notch, no round corner on the, on, the, on the display. So you can fully use this space. Actually, you can use more kind of comfortable for you. You know, for people like me, I'm getting older. I need a more large font. <laughs> you know, that's a small font is really a long time, not comfortable. But with this phone, it's really, I love it. To be honest, I really love this, especially the Mate 10. Personally, I, because it's wider, screen is wider. So it's, uh, I think we really, people need a more large screen when you're more people becoming heavy user of smartphone. And also, we have better screen to body ratio. You know, iPhone 10, iPhone 10 is really amazing. They are full, the whole front is a screen. Does it have this reached over 81% the screen to body ratio? But we are even higher than that. But we have no notch, no notch, no corner, corner. Pursue this display area can fully use. But in real usage, our screen to body ratio is even higher than. So maybe we, we are more conservative on this comparison. But I, I think that it's really more value to the consumer. And other things, in this compact body, we install huge battery, 4,000 milliampere battery inside. 48% larger battery. <laughs> you know, the headache things for many people is uh, the charging the phones uh, in the evening. Uh, that's terrible. So, the, you know, you, over the working day, and uh, your, your phone runs out of battery. So, so we want to bring, so Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro, we want to truly bring you a truly usable full screen experience for longer usage, for longer battery, larger battery. And also it's quite slim. You can see that it's more slimmer than other, but more large battery. You can see that at least 20% more than the other, uh, other phone. And also large screen, but ultra compact. Here we make a comparison of the, of the size. You can see our 5.9 inch phone, the length even eight millimeters shorter than 5.5 5 inch, it's unbelievable. And even the width of this, even narrower than 5.5 5 inch. So much bigger size screen, but much smaller. And even our six inch, uh, the Mate 10 Pro, the 18 to 9, the long, long uh, display uh, panel, we, we, we are even shorter than 5.5 5 inch. But much narrower, even near four millimeter uh, narrower, near four millimeter shorter. So it's really, really compact. Another thing I want to show you that is uh, the border of this phone. You can see that's made 10. The bottom is only 10.6 millimeter. In so compact size, we're proud of, we install a fingerprint on it. How can you guess that we can install a fingerprint on so narrow space? So, and also the bezel, the very narrow, 2.2 millimeter. Water and dust proofing, three millimeters. We spot water and dust proofing, but we make the battle so narrow. It's very difficult to do. And the top of this phone is 8.4 meters, 9.6. You know, this phone supports four antenna, four by four MIMO. I will show you later. It's the world's first 4.5G uh, phones. It's really four antenna. It's the best radio performance. But the full antenna, that means you need more space for the antenna, but we make it so compact. It's really more tough, more difficult, much more difficult for the antenna, for the engineer to do that. We're proud that we have the industry, the best RF and antenna expert in the world. You can help us to do this. And also, you know, you know that's, uh, that we are still using the Fingerprint. Many people ask me why you are not using your face ID or some eyes uh, identifying. But I want to say that it's more quick, more fast. When the phone is fully locked, in zero, three point second, it's uh, unlocked. The other phone, you need uh, to raise up the phone, to look at the phone, and uh, swipe the screen. Three stamps. We only have one stamp. No matter in which time, we just fingerprint on it. Immediately unlocked. It's convenient. And also, no fingerprint on it. <laughs> no fingerprint on the camera. So, 
The May 10 Pro, the fingerprint on the back. May 10 on the front, May 10 Pro, the fingerprint on the back. You can see this. It locks you immediately like light up. Okay. So it's a uh, <coughs> and also May 10, both May 10 and May 10 Pro, the full wheel HDR display with support. So the high dynamic and the more brightness, more rich and deep colors. So HDR 10 we support it. HDR10. You can make a compare. That's <clears throat> and this phone's design, you can see that some many people ask me that our employee also uh, my colleague asked me why this 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 this, this uh, stripe. And uh, you know our design team inspired by the, the sports car. The sports cars, the uh, headlight, the beam of the headlight. So this, this is a, the, the, the vertical the, uh, stripe. And also they make it uh, simplified of this design to make the camera, the flash, and also the laser, the, the laser, uh, all these elements in one belt. You know, also we also inherited this from the Nexus 6P and 5P series on the camera area. We also have this stripe. So <clears throat> it's our design DNA. And also this phone's design is purely symmetric. The symmetric is better for, for the extremely the beautiful design. Every element is symmetric, you can see that. So that's a, both the head and the bottom, top and the bottom, all symmetric, all the elements. So that's why we don't uh, cut the notch on, on the display. Because we have a notch on, in front, uh, you know, on the top, but we have no notch on the on bottom, so we have no, uh, we will destroy the symmetric design. <clears throat> also, this iconic design, the detail, you will see the, the stripe, the belt, we have the, the pattern inside. You can see this impressive visual pattern, all the quality in the detail. And also, it's a perfect harmony of the metal frame and uh, the glass. You, you take, uh, put it in your hand, it's seamless. So it's really, really the best uh, combination of 3D curved, curved glass. And also we design this Huawei Mate series phones because the screen is bigger. If you design the, the back is flat, it's not comfortable in your hand. So every generation Huawei Mate series phone, the back is curved, have curvature on it. So that's fit in your hand, very comfortable, really comfortable. And also the glass, we have multi-layer films inside, the luxury glass. So also with the new generation the glass, we make it stronger. We make it stronger. When you drop on the ground, it's not, not easy to broken. And we increase the thickness, both the back and the front glass, to make it, and also use the new generation the, the glass uh, technology to make it stronger. Because sometimes uh, you, bro you fall on the ground, you, you guarantee that it's not easy to broken. Uh, on that glass. <clears throat> and also we're proud of this, the Mate 10 Pro, the IP67 rated, water and dust resistant. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's, uh, I think it's, uh, the, in so compact design, we can support the water and dust proofing, that's uh, quite difficult. In so narrow battle. And I made 10, we support IP53 rated, spill and dust resistant. It's an standard, but actually, our engineer in real delivery product, we do better than this. We do better than, than this. <laughs> and why we made 10? We have four colors for your selection. The first color is a titanium gray. The front of this phone is purely black, and the side and the back is a titanium gray. And also, another color we bring is a mocha brown. You know, that's the, the side of this phone. It's a golden color for the front and the back. is brown color. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the color I prefer, the midnight blue. This is the phone I'm using. The back is blue. The front, you can see that it's also blue, the top and 
and found the blue. So the whole body is a midnight blue color. It's my personal preferred, preferred color. <laughs> and this color is very unique. Later on, you see the real product. <laughs> Maybe the photo here is not so accurate. So the display pen is a pink gold. It's a very unique color in the world. You know, we select many, many colors for the girls, the ladies' selection. This is the most preferred color. <laughs> it's the most preferred. You have, you have some pink element, but it's gold, the golden. All these elements mixed together. That's how you really look it. <clears throat> so Huawei Mate 10 Pro, the, we have four colors for your selection. This color is fashionable, dynamic. And Huawei Mate 10, we provide a more traditional color, the classical color. It's a champagne gold. Here it looks like a little bit more uh, like white, but actually the very light champagne gold. <clears throat> and this is a classical black, black color, purely black, the whole body. And also we also have the pink gold, the same with, <laughs> Same with the Mate 10 Pro, this is Mate 10. And also with the Mocha Brown, also. So totally, Huawei Mate 10 also have four colors for your selection, more classical color. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, this is the Huawei Mate 10 and Huawei Mate 10 Pro. They're totally the four color, uh, the eighth selection, each one four color, eighth for your selection. So, <clears throat> thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Today, on Huawei the Mate 10, we also want to bring you ultimate luxury. You know, last year, we partnership with the Porsche Design. Yeah. <laughs> you know, last year we launched Hua Porsche Design, Huawei Mate 9, it's received very good consumer feedback. It's really like a Porsche car. Super powerful, ultra long battery, battery life, high performance. And we sell, we sold out all the made nine, Porsche Dian Mighty 9 phones 10 times than we expect. 10 times. So today, the big honor for me to invite the CEO of Porsche Dian, Dr. Yang. Baker on stage. That's a warmly welcome, Jan Baker. Unveiling our second common device, uh, which we are doing together, and we, which we'll bring to the market here in Europe uh, before year's end. I remember very well that about one year ago, we were also standing on a stage together, likewise here in Munich, announcing uh, at the beginning of our partnership and unveiling our first common smartphone, which was the Porsche design Huawei Mate 9. It was the starting point of a so far very successful cooperation and also equally the starting point of a very successful first product in our uh, smartphone electronics category together with Huawei. With device sales, and Richard mentioned this already, globally reaching the six-figure ranges in less than one year, I'm happy to announce that the Porsche design Huawei Mate 9 has completely sold out. This is a true success and possible thanks to our close collaboration between the two houses. And I think this is a first uh, real hint that together we are very strong. But now it's time to present the next innovation, which the Porsche design teams in Zell am See, Austria, as well as of course the Huawei design teams, uh, mainly in Shanghai, work together intensively on during the past year. Our common goal is bringing design, performance, and innovation together in creating cutting-edge devices in order to meet the high demands of our customer groups. That is why we worked so closely together when it came to the design of this device. Our unique design language is apparent in the extraordinary Porsche design Huawei Mate 10. So born from the desire to deliver a device which exceeds our client's expectations, it embraces purity in performance. No gimmicks, it avoids the superfluous. So the signature diamond black color and uniquely designed case back make this device 
unmistakable. In addition to its characteristic exterior, the device features a specially developed Porsche design user interface, which comes in two different versions. And lastly, the Porsche design Huawei Mate 10 is equipped with a maximum memory currently available within the uh, Huawei product range, which is 256 GB. So to sum it up, we have taken Huawei's technological expertise and created a really beautiful product, which undoubtedly performs with the position and speed of a Porsche 911 sports car. We are very excited to see your reaction, of course, about the new Porsche design Huawei Mate 10, and we are certain that this device will even outdo its predecessor. So in closing, allow me to stress how proud we are to work together with Huawei. We are absolutely committed and delighted to continue our close collaboration with Huawei, and rest assured, we plan to keep surprising you in the future by coming out with additional outstanding devices. But now I would like to hand over again to Richard, and uh, he will give you an in-depth overview on the characteristics of our new common device. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Jan. This is our phone. Let's uh, you take a phone together. You, you know, we designed this phone. Uh, we inspired uh, by the Porsche 911. That's a uh, sports car, the speed. And also we designed this phone for performance, for perform. And also, the beautifully automotive surfacing. You can see that these phones. And also, these phones, really high performance, luxury we want to bring to you, everyone. The sleek, hand, uh, handcrafted. And also, the, the back of this ceramic look exterior. It looks like a yeah, ceramic. But it actually, it's using glass to do that. Because the real ceramic is too heavy for the phones. You, you, but we're using the glass to realize the ceramic uh, looking and feeling. But it's still the, keep the, the phone is not so heavy, uh, still li keep it light. <clears throat> and also, we, bring the, we want to bring the first class appearance to everyone, every Porsche design smartphone user. With a true leather cover inside, two super fast charger inside this box. And also with the purely black, the lossless Type C earpieces inside, also with the VIP card inside, everything. So the, we bring the real first class experience. So let's see the positive. The one is a 5.9, another six inch, and also with the best display, the HDR spot, and also with the, all these the pre, premium elements inside. But um, this phone is not designed just for the ultimate uh, uh, looking, but also ultimate performance. That's the most important. You know, Huawei Mate 10, we want to really bring you ultimate performance to everyone with the advanced leading processor and processing power, with super fast connectivity, and also with the ultra long, ba uh, long last battery, and also with our super charging technologies. That looks first our processing power. You know that's uh, embedded this phone. We are pioneering AI innovation. And uh, we have the Kirin 970 chipset, and with the latest EMUI 8.0 running on this. Both hardware and software we're running with this AI engine. You know the Kirin 970? It was the first chipset to have the AI processor inside, but more importantly, we are also the first one using the latest Mali GPU. 
and also within high performance the CPU, and also more importantly with the, this phone, the, the chipset, have 5.5 billion transistors on this single chip. It's really, really amazing, high capacity. And now using latest technology, 10 nanometer processing technologies. And the CPU performance, the energy efficiency, 20% improvement. And a 12 core GPU performance, imp uh, improvement 20%. But more importantly, the power energy, power efficiency, 50% improvement. That's a lot improvement. <coughs> when we're proud of this AI processor, we achieved 25 times performance better than the CPU. And we achieved 50 times better the energy efficiency, the power efficiency. Really, really high performance, low power consumption. So 50 times, that's a lot. And we, here we, I want to, to make a, a comparison of 100 photo recognition using the AI processor to do that. You can see that. So our phone, they finish that in five seconds. The other phone is very, also very fast in nine seconds because they are also the latest the chipset. But uh, that, that phone is running, yes, uh, it will take a much longer time. <laughs> but uh, we cannot wait, wait and wait. So I stop that. It will take uh, oh, 100 seconds. So you can have the speed. We will need 100 seconds to do that. So the, the AI processor is really, really fast. So how the AI processor is working, let's look. I have a video to show you. <laughs> I We still uh, keep fast speed. But you know that we appreciate that the Connector magazine, they make the test. And after the, this aging test, you know that uh, they are using the P10 uh, for, this, for the comparison. After 18 months, we, uh, the time, the response time, we only increase roughly 10%. But the other phone increased 195%. That's a lot, it's a big difference, you can see. <laughs> And also, you know, that we are in, using the machine learning, and uh, with this machine learning, uh, the, it's, uh, the engine, and uh, you can identify the user behavior, and they can make the best resource allocation to make the phone have the best performance. So by this AI engine, the NPU processor inside, we optimize this, we can do much better. Let's see the result. After using the enhanced AI optimization, we can make the system response, the system response speed improve 60%, and operation smoothness increase 50%, 50% better. Let's see the video, how it can stay fast. <coughs> Super fast speed the performance, but also should have the fastest network connection. You know, that's the, the QE970 chipset. We are the first one, up to now the only one, which can support the 4.5G, all this technology together, the four by four MIMO, four antenna, and uh, five carriers, five CC, five carrier aggregation, the more bandwidth you can achieve, and also the modulation, we support 256 quorum modulation, enhance the bandwidth throughput. By all these three technologies together, we are the, we're proud of, we are the first one in the world which can support 1.2 gigabit per second, super fast speed. Some call it 4.5G, some carrier call it pre-5G. So it's really, really super fast speed. Today, we can, you can experience this super fast speed on Huawei Mate 10 Pro. <coughs> with four antenna, all this enhanced. We are, we are discussing with, uh, we also, uh, with uh, the European and the global uh, carriers, uh, top uh, T1 operators, 
to bring this the super fast speed to everyone. <laughs> and also, we're proud of these phones, which are the first, not only dual SIM card, but dual 4G and dual voltage. Two SIM cards, each one support 4G and voltage. That means each SIM card, when you access the internet, and you, in the same time, you can make a phone call and access it. So that, that's simultaneously. So we are the only one up to now that can do this. And another thing, you know, that's today that when people are driving, uh, everybody, most of you, for me also, I am using the, my phone for the navigation. So how can we bring better navigation experience? We are using multi-sensor navigation and for the navigation and the inertial checking and offline data support, and also altitude detection, all this technology, all this sensor, all this technology processing together. We can really can help you to bring better uh, navigation experience, especially in some metropolitan city, like in Shanghai, here is that. The real uh, I, uh, scenario, like in the cross tunnel, like in complicated road, it's several layer of the, of the bridge. So you drive that, that's very, very complicated. Sometimes you don't know that uh, if you have no better navigation, you don't know where you're on the ground or in the bridge. So in this complicated road, and we can make really good navigation. I show you a, a real one. It's in Shanghai. You know Shanghai is really complicated. A lot, a lot of tunnels cross the, uh, the Huangpu River from the West Bank and the, and the Eastern Bank. And also a lot of bridges. You can see in the, you go to the tunnel, the phone your location area, the other phone also location error, lost the location, and we, we continue to work. When, the, when, the, when you drive out of, outside the, the tunnel, you can see that we, we quickly get, get the GPS signal, get the navigation. The other two phones is not, not yet. So it's really, really convenient for you. You know, that's... Uh, the performance, the connectivity is very, very important, but more importantly, is the phone, you need a long battery life. You know, Huawei Mate 9 was recognized as the best, the longest battery life, and with a supercharger as the Android authority. The Mate 9 is the best. You know, the long battery life and the super fast charging is always the DNA for Huawei Mate series smartphone. But how about this Mate 10? The Mate 10 have even longer battery life, 30% improvement than Mate 9. <laughs> well, I'd like to take this chance to thank our engineering team. They make this even for really heavy users like me or some other over one day usage. From the early morning to the midnight, fully used. Never worry about the battery. For normal users, around two days normal user usage. You really ultra long battery life. And how can we achieve so long battery life? We are using the large battery, a low power con consumption QE970 chipset, but uh, more importantly, the intelligent power management. These three things together will achieve low power consumption, long battery life. And also, we support super fast charging. The fast, super fast, but also safe and reliable charging. You know, the other phones, the charging speed also imp uh, improve a lot, but we are even faster than them. And the wise charging today is super slow speed. So this uh, supercharger, four times faster than wireless charging. The wireless charging looks a good story, but in real usage, you will find that it's too slowly. And then this super fast charging is not only the, the fast, but also safe. We're proud of, we, we are the world's first end-to-end -end safe supercharge certificated, certified by the TUV. That looks, yes. <coughs> Bring you the super fast speed with the performance of the processor and also with the connectivity and the long battery life and the super fast charging for the battery and also the best, the best navigation experience. And you know that today the photography is the 
for everyone is a very, very important feature for the smartphone. But today, we want to bring the intelligence to the photography. How can we do that? We bring you the dual camera, but also with the dual ISP, dual imaging signal processor, and more importantly, with the AI engine to process, to bring you the intelligent photography. On this phone, you, you, you either install the world's largest aperture, dual f1.6 camera lens. You know, it's very difficult for the camera of the smartphone to make the aperture like this. The last generation of Huawei, the P10 Plus, we achieved 1.8. But this time, we achieved 1.6. It's the largest aperture in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Do F1.6. That means that we can achieve the equivalent to 1.1 aperture, large aperture. So that uh, can dramatically improve the low light condition photo and it can help you to take a much better photo. You also have support the hybrid room, 2X room, and 4-in-1 hybrid focus. And also we install the OIS optical image stabilizer inside. This is a photo taken by this, this phone. You can see that's a, a Hong Kong Victoria Harbor in the evening. Yeah. You know, I also taken the phone and also take uh, other vendors the latest phone, make a comparison, even in the evening. With no overexposure, and also the, all the detail can be resolved. And this is a, a photo the, uh, taken by uh, my colleague in the evening in Dubai. And you can see the, against the high contrast, the line, so you can see that everything is uh, uh, straight. So you can see that's how, how good uh, quality photo you can take. And also, this uh, bokeh photo you can take by this, how good uh, quality. You can feel and uh, this this uh, this uh, the screen uh, the quality is not enough to 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 show the, all the, the best best color uh, best quality picture. <clears throat> you can you can feel that, that that's and also you know in low light condition against the light low light is very difficult very tough environment to make a photo. You can this guy in a low light in the room and also against the light with the window over there. So it's quite tough to take this photo, but you can see this phone can take, mid turn can really take good quality photo. This is a classical black and white photo. We have a, a black and white the camera sensor, 20 megapixel, it's running for this. Good quality, <clears throat> all the detail you can see. You know that in this phone that we installed a dual ISP. Typically we have one ISP, but this one we have dual ISP, two ISP the imaging uh, signal processor, which can achieve faster response, faster focus, and also with the, especially the motion, motion picture, motion shooting, yeah, and the low light photography is getting better experience. I show you some of that. Like this guy, yeah, yeah, the fast moving loop, you know, it's in a low light condition. It's very difficult, and also against the light. You can see they can make it clearly this loop. This screen with the quality not good enough to display all the, uh, but you can see there's a, on the computer, high resolution computer dis, uh, display panel, you can see that more clearly. And also against the light, you can quickly move, you can see take these keys and you can see this very clearly. So it's all the tough environment that we can take good quality picture. And this is a low light in the, in the bar. You can see this guy is, a, is a jumping. You can see the other phone, the leg. You can see the foot is a blurred, but no blur, even in this uh, very tough environment. Because of the dual ISP, they quickly get the motion. So you just grasp the picture, the good quality. <clears throat> you know, we also want to make artistic photography with our intelligence. How can we do that? You know, this phone has the AI engine, the NPU, AI engine, artificial intelligence process inside. It's learning. This phone already learned over 100 million photo images, photo. See, so this phone can know a lot of uh, scenario. That they can recognize the objects. In the EFA, we demo show you that the phone, the chipset, 
running on the board, you, you see the picture, you see the picture of them, they can know the, what's that. They can, they can read, read the, the picture. So by this way, you know, the, the phone, the camera sees, they understand, they can shoot, they can professionally to tune in the camera to help you to do the best photo, best picture. They can recognize a lot of scenario. So totally, up to now, we support 13, 13 uh, things, their recognition. When you're in blue sky or you know, something in snow, in the beach area, sometimes in the, in the evening or in the night shot, it can automatically just adjust the camera to bring more convenience for you. Here is a photo taken by this. When you, you when your camera to the to this uh, this environment, you identify. They will display a fork and a knife over there. They will, they will make a better photo. You can see this. <coughs> and we will take the flower photo. They will recognize the object because it's a flower. So you can see they can help you. You will take a better, better flower. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you, you take pets. They understand the phone, understand the AI. Artificial intelligence the engine know it's a pet. Then you, you can see that how can it take a better photo uh, of the cat, pets. <clears throat> I like my colleague Peter. He wants you to using the phone to do some demo here to show you. Okay, Peter, let's. Thank you, Richard. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'd like to show you today how the power of Huawei's vision engine and artificial intelligence can turn even a novice photographer like myself into someone who can take professional grade photographs. But before I do, I just want to switch to flight mode just so that you can see that this is actually on-device AI working here. So if I go into my camera, the thing that you would need to pay attention to is the bottom left-hand corner of the camera window. You can see here that the icon appears. When the icon appears, it means that the camera is instantly recognizing what the object is. And then in turn, using machine-learned information and intelligent <laughs> photographic algorithms. Let's get the dog. Algorithms. Here we go. Oh, you saw it there. There you go. There he is. <laughs> Algorithms to deeply tune the camera settings. Now, this is a feature which my family is going to absolutely love, because I spend far too long trying to set up camera shots, and they're always hanging around for me. Now, they won't need to, because with this technology, I know that I can get that instant perfect picture that a professional would be very pleased with. Thank you. Back to you, Richard. Okay. Thank you. Actually, the machine learning is ongoing. You can, with time flying, you can you see more, you can learn more. So you know, sometimes we also need uh, the, the phone that can take up the, the better portrait, like the, using AI for do the selfie. You can even the front camera use one camera, one, sen one camera sensor, but you can do the bokeh photo. Uh, so with the AI engine, uh, we can help to do that. <clears throat> and also AI zoom, you can see the 8x zoom. You can see how good quality the, the character is better than, than the other, the blurred, so you see. <clears throat> you know, Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro, we bring the intelligent photography to everyone with a very large aperture, uh, the, the camera lens, and also the leading generation the AI processor inside the AI engine to support the AI with the intelligent photography. You know that today we need more in, intelligent experience with this smartphone. So Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro uh, running with the latest EMUI 8.0, but also with the latest version of Android 8.0. You know, we are the, on the first wave to support the latest Android version, all the this 8.0. And all the this have a lot of enhanced feature performance, 
And uh, here I just list some of them. Some of them from uh, Android uh, old release, some of them from Huawei. Because time, for example, this one is the dynamic wallpaper. You can see that I accelerate the speed. It's uh, the Huang Shan, Huang Mountain, uh, Huang Shan Mountain is my hometown. You can see the, the, the wallpaper from the different time is changing. You can see the cloud is running and the different, in the evening you can see that getting the sunset in the wallpaper, it's all dynamic. So it's a morning and the evening, so the whole day is changing. Uh, <clears throat> you know this is a full wheel display screen, how can we fully using the UI using the, the screen? And we all have optimization on that. The Huawei is a mid 10, and we get rid of that three virtual key. We can using the you can set up that in navigation to using one single button, the, the the camera, the fingerprint to replace three virtual key. You can fully use the screen. So more space so, so for you to use. And also this phone is a mate 10 Pro. It's you know it's a 18 to 9 the long uh, dis, uh, the long display. So by this, you can use the multi-column. When you use the email, here is the column, here is the, the content. It's more convenient. We support more of this uh, the multi-column. And also, you know, multi-window. Like you're, when you're, you're watching the video, you receive a message. And on the message, that, that, that area, you, you push that, 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 uh, that button, then you can automatically split the screen. During your watch your video, you can replace, uh, reply your message. You can do other things simultaneously. I want to play, may I play you again? You can see that. On the top, push that button, you can see that one. Then it automatically split the screen. So very convenient for you. You can do two tasks simultaneously. And also we support the OZ, Android OZ list, that's a shortcut. You long press, Long press the, the apps, you can quickly shortcut to the uh, functionality. Uh, saving your time, so more convenient. And also, you know, this is a phone book. We have the WeChat the contact, the WhatsApp contact inside. But today, we, we from mid term, we're introducing the LinkedIn building in your contact, in your phone book, address book. So more convenient for you. You know, today, the more and more people, they are using the smartphone not only for life, but also for work. Your email, your, 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 home, your work office, your work, uh, your enterprise applications, you need, you need more security, more safety. So we need to support the MDM, the mobile device management. And we, we proud of that uh, this phone we are on the first wave to support the Google Zero Touch provision. Zero Touch provision. So that's for enterprise, to enhance the enterprise security and efficiency. And also we support the global the enterprise mobile management vendors partner, like the Mobile Iron, uh, Sorty, some other partners. I think that you can use this for enterprise, for your work. And some people have two SIM cards, one private, one for work, one for life. Now you have to use SIM card, you, and you only need one phone. Because your phone's battery life is long enough for, for you to use two SIM cards inside simultaneously. <clears throat> and you know, many people, they are listening to music. They want your high quality music. So we, <laughs> we're proud of this one. We, we support a lossless audio experience, 384K, 32 bit. It's a really, really high cost. You know, I, when some people, our internally, uh, some, our employee, they using this phone, many guys told me, wow, unbelievable. This uh, music quality is very good. So they don't know that. Uh, why, what's happened uh, with this? It's happened with this. It's, it's really, really lossless, lossless audio. You know, that some, many of my friends, that's, uh, they are the hobby, they have hobby of listening to the, the really good quality of music. I think it's good news for them. <clears throat> and also another thing is you know, sometimes you make a phone call in the Nori area, you have to speak loudly. But then that's not good. So in this phone, with AI engine inside, you can, you can even whisper in Nori area. How can you do that? 
we have the engine, the intelligent noise, background noise reduction, and also the phone knows you. And he can identify it's your, you are speaking, not the other noise, who other people is speaking. Even you are speaking very uh, whispering, not, not loudly, you know the area, but they can enhance your voice because the phones know you. You are the owner of this phone. The phone's learning, learning from your voice. They understand you. So this is another, we call it the easy talk. Another AI engine, we can bring the value to you. But actually the AI can do a lot of things with this capability. <clears throat> another thing, you know, PC mode. You know, the other one, they need a dock to, to connect to the, to, to the display. But our solution, without a dock, you just using a Type C, connecting any your TV, your display, any display, very convenient. Plug and play. But more importantly, we can using uh, we can uh, uh, support more features. Uh, let my colleague show you uh, how Peter. Can you show me show us how it works? <laughs> Thank you, Richard. So this time. I'd like to show you how we can extend your already large screen experience onto an even bigger display. So as you see here, we're in phone mode right now. So all I need to do is just switch over to PC mode, and you'll see that that loads really quickly. Now, <laughs> as this is a full PC setup, I could, if I wanted to, use a, uh, a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard or even plug in USB mouse and keyboard. However, today I'm going to show you a totally mobile experience because you can use your Huawei device as a virtual touchpad and keyboard. Now, this is a very powerful experience. I have a customized desktop view in which I can open all of my applications. I can multitask seamlessly. I even have a file system that I can open up instantly. Now, um, I can use both screens independently as well. So I've got a little bit of work to do, because you can imagine I've been a bit busy over the last couple of days. And I need to finish off making this slide for a presentation tomorrow. So I just open up my slide, and I need to add the tagline here. The tagline itself is sitting on a text message on my phone. So I simply go to my messages, open up the message, copy the content, go into the tagline, paste in the content, and we're done. I can save that and move on. Now, this is such a professional setup that I can actually drive a full-on powerful presentation from this system. Um, I'll show you an example. Uh, this is one that Richard may remember. So I can, using my touchpad, just simply browse through the presentation and show that. Now, in doing so, I'm safe in the knowledge that uh, I won't be disrupted or embarrassed by incoming calls or voice texts because they stay on the phone. And when I'm done with my working day, I can um, sit back in my hotel room and relax and enjoy myself by watching one of my favorite movies. Of course, sharing it onto the big screen in my room. Now, being able to use both screens independently, I can always immerse myself in that film or stay connected with family, friends, or of course, the office. So if you want to enhance your entertainment, maximize your productivity. All you need is a Huawei Mate 10 series smartphone and a single simple cable.
Thank you. Richard, over to you. Thank you, Peter. We have a video, a mobile Elvis video to like to show, show you. Thank you. More convenience. And you know, that's uh, with the, this uh, uh, office eulogy, uh, mobile office uh, for your work. But also, you know, sometimes the people is traveling for the businessman that you go to another country, you don't know that language. You need a translation. But with the AI engine, and we can make the translation even faster. And we can, uh, this time we cooperate with uh, Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft translate, um, translation, this, using the AI engine, we can achieve 300% uh, 300 faster speed, uh, the AI accelerator. So when I go to the restaurant, I use a, a German menu, I cannot, cannot read that. I, get, I can translate that to English or to Chinese, to any language. They are supporting multi-language uh, translation. And uh, Google Translate is also uh, very good, and we are also working with Google. Later on, we, we were trying to use the AI engine for that also. But this, this time is uh, with Microsoft. Uh, that's optimization. You can see that's really fast, accurate. <clears throat> so we're trying to uh, build open AI ecosystem. You know, the AI capability uh, with chipset capability, but the hardware, not only hardware, but also software ecosystem. You know, today, a big honor for me to invite my old friend, uh, Jamie Rosenberg on stage. He is the vice president of Google in charge of Android and the Play, Google Android Play, and Google Play. Thank you. It's great to be here in Munich with all of you, with our friends and partners from Huawei to celebrate the launch of the Mate 10. At Google, we have many things to be excited about with this device. It's one of the very first flagships to ship with Android Oreo, which means users of the Mate 10 will have all the benefits that come with running the very latest version of the Android OS. Richard talked about some of them. Some of the others include picture-in-picture -picture mode, autofill to help you log into your favorite apps easier, smarter notifications that prioritize the notifications that are most important to you and show those first, and a whole series of performance enhancements, including faster boot time. With the Mate 10, we also love Huawei's focus on using technology to make this a truly intelligent smartphone. As you've heard, Mate 10 includes deep technology investment in artificial intelligence, which is very consistent with our philosophy that computing is undergoing a fundamental shift from being mobile first to AI first. With faster, more powerful processors that have built-in AI capabilities, devices will be able to see, hear, and speak in ways that haven't been possible before. The Huawei Kirin 970, with its neural network processing unit, includes the abil ability to perform complex AI tasks directly on the device, as you just saw in the demo. I'm also very pleased that the Mate 10 will include Android's neural network API, which will help unlock this capability for developers, giving developers and their apps access to hardware acceleration so that they can enable unique AI features in their applications. Maybe it's an app that can look into your pantry and recommend what to make for dinner. Maybe it's an app that can recognize the notes you're playing as you're learning a musical instrument. The Android Neural Network API will be coming to the Mate 10 in a software update early next year, and I can't wait to see what developers do with this technology. Finally, we think Mate 10 will be a fantastic device for business users as well as consumers. It will, of course, include Google Play Protect, our machine learning powered security scanning service that's already protecting more than 2 billion Android devices every day. Google Play Protect scans 50 billion apps daily, searching for malware, blocking potentially harmful apps to keep devices and the data on those devices safe. Mate 10 will also include support for Android work profiles, which allows personal data to be stored separately from corporate data, allows IT administrators to manage that corporate data more closely. And I'm very pleased 
that Mate 10 will be one of the first devices to support Android Zero Touch enrollment, which allows IT administrators to provision devices to their corporate users completely over the air with no manual configuration required. So with its capabilities in security, work profiles, zero touch enrollment, we're really excited about the potential for the Mate 10 in the enterprise. Overall, whether at work or at play, whether it's for enjoying the features of Android Oreo or the Google Assistant, which we've worked very closely with the Huawei team to optimize on the Mate 10, or AI applications that will be created by developers and powered by the unique capabilities of the Mate 10 device. We're very excited about this device. We welcome the Mate 10 to the Android family. Now back to Richard. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your partnership right. support. Thank you. And with your yeah, support, yeah. we always can have the latest technology and the latest version uh, Thank you. to the consumers. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much. You know, that's, uh, we are trying to build an open AI ecosystem. And we, with uh, Huawei, the AI, high AI, heterogeneous resource management uh, layer. And we, above that, we support the Android, the Android AI API, Android NN. And also we uh, support Google, the TensorFlow and the TensorFlow Lite, uh, Facebook, Coffee, Coffee 2. And we, we enable the third, uh, third party apps can using more the AI capability. So that's, that's the most important. <clears throat> so we hope the infinite innovation with the open AI ecosystem. <clears throat> so today, the Huawei Mate 10 series smartphone bring you the intelligent experience with the latest Android version with the Huawei EMUI 8.0, and with all this optimization, not only for, for life, but also for work, for your business, for your, for your life. So I hope that this AI accelerated capability can do more for you for future with time flying. Because the AI is the new things. We need more time for the apps developer to develop the AI cap apps, which can fully use this ca strong capability. <clears throat> and also today, we also bring some user-friendly companions like this, the lo lossless high, re high resolution high phase digital headset, uh, type C headset. <clears throat> it's not analog, it's digital, digital headset. <clears throat> and also, super charger and in-car charger, super fast. You know, sometimes you, you get up in the morning, you forgot to charge in the phone. Uh, during the 20 minutes you're driving to the office, you can charge in the phone very quickly with a super fast charging. I really love it, personally. <clears throat> and also we have magnetic uh, car kit. And you with the, a cover with a, with a magnetic can connect easy connector to uh, to on the car when you're driving to do navigation. It's very convenient. It's a very useful uh, ac accessory. And also we provide the, the smart uh, leather cover for the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. Another thing is a super fast power bank. You know, for Mate 10, Mate 10 Pro, you don't need a power bank because it's a super long battery life. But sometimes you go outside for camping, for, for example, for several days. Maybe you need uh, no, battery, no AC power there. Maybe you need uh, a power bank. It's a uh, 10,000 mAh battery. But it's uh, five amp, the maximum five amp, super fast charging uh, power bank. It's really convenient. <laughs> and also we bring the annual, uh, Envision 360 degree the camera. You can take the 300, 360 degree photo, you just plug in in the Type C, so it's very convenient. Plug and play. <clears throat> so, totally, uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro and a Porsche Design Huawei Mate 10. So, totally, uh, we have nine for your selection three <laughs> model and a uh, a night color for your selection. Thank you. <clears throat>
699 euro with a four gigabyte memory plus 64 gigabyte. It will be, will be available from the beginning of next, next month. So it's the first real country uh, in this here. <clears throat> and Mate 10 Pro, the price is 799 euro with a six uh, gigabyte of RAM and a 128 gigabyte uh, ROM uh, flash. It also will be available from beginning of next month. So immediately after this launch, we will, in many countries, we will, the product, the phone will be in the store. <coughs> so we will, you will be get this phone then from the beginning of, of next month. Thank you. <coughs> and uh, Porsche Giant, Huawei Mate 10, the price is 1,395 euro with a 256 gigabyte, huge capacity, and a purely a new design and new CMF, all, all this new configuration. Thank you. Thank you.